Leicester take on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge on Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. kickoff. Chelsea are absolutely flying at home. They've won seven on the bounce and they've only conceded three goals in that time. In five of the games, they've had a shutout. They've kept clean sheets. Leicester are winless in 12 games against the big six. And in the last five games, they've lost. They've also lost their last two Premier League away games, so they're not in good form. So for that reason, I'm going for a Chelsea clean sheet. Newcastle face Swansea at St James's Park and the visitors aren't looking too good on the road. They've only scored seven goals away from home and before their win at Watford they had the worst away record in the league. I don't see it picking up here as Newcastle have won seven points from their last four games in the Premier League and the home side have definitely tightened up defensively. They've now kept a clean sheet in their last two games so I've got to go for a Newcastle win. Huddersfield take on West Ham on Saturday at 3pm. Huddersfield are winless in four games having lost to Leicester last time out. West Ham won this reverse fixture back in September 2-0 so we'll be confident. They've also picked up five points in their last three away games which is two more points than they picked up in their previous nine. So for that reason and West Ham have picked up I'm going West Ham to win either half. Crystal Palace hosts Burnley at Selhurst Park and the home side are in good form. They've only lost once in their last 11 league matches. The Clarets have drawn five games away from home this season and no side has drawn more. Each of their last three games on the road have ended level, so it makes sense to go for another draw in this one. Watford take on Southampton on Saturday afternoon and I see goals in this game. In the previous eight meetings at Vicarage Road, there's been 34 goals scored at an average of over four per game. Watford are struggling at the back. They haven't kept a clean sheet since they beat West Ham 2-0 in the middle of November. Southampton are on a nine-game winless run. Only West Brom are on a worse run in the Premier League. So they need the points. So for that reason, I think it's going to be an open game. So I'm going for both teams to score. West Brom hosts Brighton at the Hawthorns and the Baggies are now winless in 20 league games. That's the second longest run in Premier League history. But they have to win sooner or later, surely. Brighton have only scored eight goals away from home all season and three of those came in the one win at West Ham. They've also failed to find the net in the previous five away games, so they're definitely the blunter side. So I'm going to say that now's the time that the home sides are going to pick up. So I'm going to go for the West Brom win. The late kickoff on Saturday sees Spurs host Everton and I see goals in this one too. Spurs have conceded in four of the last five home games at Wembley and Everton are scoring goals away from home. They've scored in five of the last six away games. In fact, their last three trips to Wembley have all ended in two undefeats. Could history repeat itself? I think it might, so for that reason, I'm going for both teams to score.